Hello everybody, Tim here with you from TNS Heater Core Service. What I've got going on today is a 2003 Lincoln Navigator and I'm doing a heater core replacement in it. I've already got the dash tore back and just about everything else is done. I just want to show you a few things on this that will maybe make your life a little bit easier. On the dash, you've got You've got, well first of all, let's start off with, you've got to take both seats out, both front seats. You have to remove the center console. I'm not going to go into detail about that. If you have got any mechanical aptitude at all, you can do that on your own. As far as the dash goes, you have to drop the steering column. You have to take it completely out. You take that pinch bolt loose right there, and you take every electrical connection on it loose. And then you've got four bolts, four nuts that hold it up in there, 13 millimeter. Actually, they're 14 millimeter. Then you get your steering column out of there. I've got my steering column out. It's laying right there on the ground. Uh, not that difficult to do. Uh, pretty self-explanatory itself. Not, not too bad to do. So you get that thing out of there. Then, what you've got... To do to get the heater core out the way i do it the easiest way i do it i've already got the new heater core just sitting down in there uh, the old heater core to get those connections loose under the hood they're kind of a pain in the butt so what i do i just take a hacksaw and i cut these right here off the old one that way i can lift it up out of there and then pull the hoses out the front under the hood and i'll be able to take those uh, fittings that i cut out of the holes a lot easier than you can try to fight it up underneath there and then the next thing you have to do to get that uh, heater core in there, you can get the heater core out, like I said, by cutting those lines right there. But to get the new heater core in there, you have to take this box loose from the firewall and pull it back far enough that you can get that, the, the, uh, the piping back through the firewall with your new heater core. The way you do that, you pull your carpet back. You see I've got the carpet pulled back. And that vent right here, this plastic vent, that, uh, distribu distribution vent that goes to the back, you have to get that thing out of the way so you can so you can pull it back. And you can see, to do that, you have to take that carpet up and get that carpet out of the way. And then you can get that up. And then you can just pull this out. What you've got holding this box in here, this HVAC box, you've got a bolt here. You've got one bolt where you can't see it down here. There's one down here on the bottom underneath. It's a nut. It goes there. And then under the firewall, in the firewall, you've got you've got to take your you got to take your uh, computer out, take the bracket off of it, and it all goes right here, bolts on the firewall. You take that off. That way you can get to your uh, to your air conditioner lines. You have to blow the air conditioning uh, Freon, you have to get rid of the Freon in the system to get your hoses loose back in there to get Because uh, you got to take your you got to take that AC line both AC lines off so you can pull that heater core I mean the AC HVAC box back to get that, to get that in there. Anyway, it's quite a bit of work if, you, if you're a mechanic at all you, you know what I'm talking about uh, you, you have to have the right tools of course to get to get this stuff done Anyway, I got the battery out of the way. I got everything out of the way. It's a lot easier. Anyway, you've got you've got to, to hold that holds that HVAC box in there. You've got you got a bolt right there. You see, you see, I've got the I've got the nut off of it right there. It's a big one. It's a it looks like this. There's one there, one down here beside the battery box, kind of down low, and then there's one way down underneath the car you you can see you can't see it but underneath the way i got it out the easiest way i got it out the one on the bottom was crawl underneath the vehicle and look up through there and you can reach up in there with a 12 millimeter flex head wrench and you can get that from the bottom once you get that out of there you got one two there and then You've got to come around on the on the HVAC box up on the top. You've got one more that holds it, and that would be this one right here, right there. 
there was a there was a nut right here. You can see it well there. Went. There was a nut that goes on it right there. And then then you're able to pull that HVAC box back and you're able to install the new heater core a lot easier. Now this dash, it's got to, uh, I'll show you where they mount at. On this side, on the driver's side, you see that right here, right here, and then underneath your A-pillar, you have to take all that off, right there. And then on the passenger side, the same thing, down on the bottom there, you got two, and then one, right up there, you can see it right there. There's a bolt right there, it goes in right there. So that's uh, that's pretty much it that I can show you right now. Of course, you have to unplug every electrical connector on this dash. Every one of them has to be unplugged to get back. And don't worry about it too much because they're all uh, color-coded, most of them. And they, they'll only go one way. You really can't get mixed up with your electrical connections. Um, what I would suggest is for you guys just to take your time and uh, have faith in yourself. You can do it. It's not that big of a deal. If you have, like I said, if you have any mechanical aptitude at all, you can get this done yourself and you can save yourself a ton of money. Now, a shop's going to charge you a, a lot of money to do these navigators because it is quite the process to get this thing out of there. So if you, uh, if you have faith in yourself, you can do it. I have faith in you. You can do it. So I'll tell you what, if you like my videos, uh, please do me a favor, subscribe to me, and uh, make uh, comment, you know, if you want to comment and you need to know something, just go ahead and comment, and I'll be sure and reply back to you. I'll, I'll answer you just as truthfully as I can. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this a long time, and these vehicles are, uh, this is one of the harder ones, because you've got a lot of stuff to take loose here. Like I said, here's all them electrical fittings, camera connections on the dash. you got to take them all loose. They all go right here. You know, right, right in here, they all plug in here and here and all up in here. Um, so I hope this video helps you out and uh, subscribe to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.